I'm attracted to you, Dorian. I have been for months, ever since you and I teamed up to track down Mitch Lawrence. <laughs> Oh. Two desperate souls united to protect our loved ones. Yeah, we're two of a kind, Dorian. You, I, you understand me in a way that Vicky never could. Oh, well, she would never understand your primal instincts. Right, now you're talking my language. But Charlie, if you've been attracted to me all this time, why did you keep pushing me away? Because I had to. I was afraid of my feelings. And because you didn't want to betray Vicky. You, well, no, 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 I know I was afraid of competing with David. This is weird. <laughs> Why? Because I'm enjoying the view. Because the real Vicky always wants me to keep my clothes on. Not today. Nikki Smith, is that you? No! Oh, David. Oh, I'm completely integrated. You know that. <laughs> so why so touchy-feely? <laughs> why not? You are a very attractive man. I know. But you never let me get to first base. You never even let me take my clothes off. Well, I guess I changed my mind. <laughs> okay. Down, girl. <laughs> oh, David, stop pretending. You know you want me, you always say so. Of course I want you. You know I want you. I love the chase. Oh. Oh. So, you're not interested in me at all. Of course I'm interested in you. You've got a smoke and swimming pool. You're beautiful. You've got the best wine cellar in town. <laughs> but at the end of the day, you're still in love with Dorian. James' brother nearly bit my head off. I didn't want you to have the same experience. Yeah, I heard Ford's got a mean streak. Star can't stand him. In this case, I can't blame him. I did almost get James killed. My mother almost murdered me when she found out. You're lucky you're still alive. Mom, you cannot still be mad. I'm furious. And I'm returning that money. Seriously. Promise me you'll stay away from Star Manning completely. Sorry, brother. It's a promise I can't keep. Come on in, Twinkle. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm okay. It's good to see you. Good to see you. Um, another doctor in there with Hannah? No, it's Cole. It's just you and me, Hannah. If you care about me at all. I do. Okay, then I need to know the truth about you. Did you do it? Is this real? Is what real? This is a happy time, happy occasion. Please don't ruin it. Well, me, what about him? He's trying to muscle in on my kids and try to get married before me and him. He never said he wanted to get married before us. No, he just said soon. Yeah, well, I'll okay. see what you see in him. If I were you, I'd watch your mouth, Manny. Oh, yeah, why is that, Ellie? Because I still haven't forgotten you killed my brother. She barely even looks like my sister anymore. Well, it's been a while since we've seen her. That's not what it... I mean, look at her. She needs a machine to breathe for her and one to feed her. She doesn't know that. You know, the doctor says she's not in any pain. She's not aware of any machines. That's the problem. She's not aware. I used to think my sister was in there somewhere, but I don't think that anymore. 
and, and the doctors say she needs those machines to live and my mother refuses to take her off of them. So, what am I supposed to do? So you're not gonna pay the mortgage? I'm not gonna use stolen money, Nathaniel Q. Salinger. When the Q comes out, you know I'm in trouble. Yeah, you are in trouble. Lying to your mother about winning the lottery? I can't believe I bought that ridiculous story. So we're gonna lose the house? There are worse things. Like stealing and lying to me. How many times do I have to say, I am sorry? Did you apologize to that poor boy? I tried, but his brother wasn't having it. What room is he in? Mom, are you sure you want to- What room? 403. Ford better not treat her like he treated me. Brought James some takeout since I know how much he hates mystery meat. And you know they have a saying, when you shoot someone, you owe them. So I'm here to pay off my debt. Uh, how does Cole feel about that? No offense, but I could live without your brother. He's an acquired taste. Speaking of, are you hungry? Sure, thanks. Uh, I'm not complaining, but yesterday I thought we said goodbye. Well, it's just a burger. Where is your boyfriend? He needed to be someplace. With Hannah? He's, uh, he's trying to get her to open up to him. Tell him whether this is all an act. What do you think? <sighs> I, she shows many symptoms of schizophrenia. You know, she's hearing voices, she's dissociative, but she's also very smart. And like I told Nora, she could be faking it. But she trusts Cole, so I think he'll have a better chance of getting through to her than I did. Before you had this, this breakdown, or whatever you want to call it, you, you said you were fine. You, you, you said that you, you were innocent and that you had nothing to do with the attacks against my mom or Ford. You said you would tell us who's really responsible if you got immunity. And I believed you. I think John did too. But then you, you said that you were responsible for the attacks. I mean, wh what happened? Why the 180? And what about Cole Thornhart? Will he be safe? Leave Cole alone. I'd like to. He's a good kid. It'd be a damn shame if something bad had to happen to him and you had to spend the rest of your life knowing it was all your fault. Because of you. You're afraid of competing with David? David Vickers? Dorian, come on. Yours and David's... How shall I say? Sex life is a legend around Landview. Mm -hmm. And everybody knows that you never got over him. Oh, <laughs> let me debunk that myth, for goodness sakes. Uh, David and I are fini, finito, basta la comedia. It's over, and as far as our infamous liaison goes, it's so yesterday. And today? Today? I need a real man. A man with integrity and strength. A man who will not abandon me because he booked a hemorrhoid commercial. Okay, but still, David is so... so... David. Yes, hmm. but it's... So facade. I mean, really, why are we talking about him? What should we talk about? David is with Vicky right now. And I think Vicky is going to succumb to him. Dorian? I don't want Dorian. I want to run a skewer through her and roast her over a hot fire, but I don't love her. I've been there. Done that. I'm not going there again. Never? Ever. Hey, talk to me, Vicky. It seems like something's wrong. Yes. Yes, David. Something is wrong. Oh, David, I think... I think that Charlie is turning to Dorian. 
Cole is with Hannah, but it's not like you think. I'm not thinking anything. I'm just wondering why he's not with you. It's a great burger. Well, Cole's mom called and said that Hannah was having problems, so, you know, he thinks that he could get through to her. It's a long story. Always is. Well, Hannah made some statements at the police station, and... I'm so I can't tell you anything more because it involves Cole's mom. Star, if I had known a simple question was going to get you this upset, I I'm not upset. Cole and I are fine. It was great to be home, and, and it was great to see Hope. So everything's good. You didn't come to me, Star. You were in trouble and you didn't come to me. It couldn't be better. Yeah? How come I don't believe you? You know, if Hannah's faking, why have her cop to both assaults? We'll add enough to charge her for Ford. Maybe she thinks you're gonna find more evidence. Yeah, yeah. But then, um, you know, why try to make a deal? She was ready to give up the name of the perp in exchange for immunity. She could be lying. She's done that before. Mm -hmm. But you don't think she's lying? I don't know. What do you think? Oh, I don't know. But if she's innocent... Why not wait for the deal, right? I mean, Clark's not an idiot. He got out the other charges dropped. Right. You know? But instead, he said shows up and then suddenly she's in here, like this. Wait, you think she, he coached her? But why have her confess to both crimes? Why have her incriminate herself for a crime that we can't prove? You're right. I, you're, you're right. It doesn't make any sense. You decided to confess because of me? Or was the breakdown because of me? All of it. What do you mean? Hey, you left me there. I mean, you left me to go be with Star, and you left me alone with him. With who? Your lawyer? You like Clark? Todd did not have a choice. Ross was going to hurt Danny. Oh, Blair, I don't believe that for a second. Well, it's true. Todd had no choice. Ross was out of control. Can you blame him? He was trying to take his kid from him. My daughter. Who didn't want anything to do with you? So what, you figured you'd solve everything by murdering my brother? Listen. I didn't murder anybody. Eli. Todd didn't kill Ross. No? Who did? He's gonna find out because I'm sick. What am I gonna find out, Delgado? Ross isn't dead. Do you think it was her hands on your back? I don't know. It all happened so fast. You know, I heard a noise, and before I could turn around, someone pushed me down the stairs. But first you thought it was Natalie, so your initial instinct was it was a woman. I think you know why I thought it was Natalie. But what, now, I'm, you're changing your mind now? You think it, it could be Hannah? All I know is none of it adds up. I had no choice, Cole. What does that mean? <laughs> Just think about it. I mean, why would I confess to pushing your mom down the stairs, trying to kill her baby, attacking Ford? What, what possible reason would I have to make that up? Was this his idea? Did Eli Clark make you confess? Have you fake a breakdown so that you can stay out of prison? Ross is the one who helped Danny come to terms with the fact that Todd is her biological father. So is he still down there? What, do you know where he is? Well, he's a fugitive. That's why we promised him that we wouldn't tell anyone that he was still alive. Oh, and you know, that was just so sweet of you, Taya. I'm sorry, Blair, okay? But you, you couldn't even tell me I'm his brother. I'm sorry, Eli. But things being what they are right now, um, Todd and I are considering the possibility that Danny may want to reach out to Ross again. Oh, so it's okay for Todd to know he 
shot him. It's okay for Danielle, a 15-year-old girl, to know, but it's not okay for Blair to know. It's not okay for me to know. I've been grieving for my brother since that day on the bridge, and, and you've known all this time that he's alive. Tay, how could you do this to me? My mother freaked when I suggested that being hooked up to machines might not have been what Evangeline wanted. Well, it's, it's a touchy subject for her, and you're, you're very direct. My mother accused me of wanting Evangeline out of the way. I know she's being unreasonable, but you... You need... are not going to tell me to calm down. She's Evangeline's mom, Layla. The last thing she wants to think about is ending her daughter's life. It's not like I enjoy it. I know, I know, but see, you, you can see the big picture. Your mom, well, she really needs to believe that Evangeline's going to snap out of this and get better. I get that, I do. But my mom can't see what it means for Evangeline to be hooked up to life support. She's not going to get better. No, the doctors have been very clear about that. All I want is for my mother to do what's right for my sister. I know how much you wanted to help your mom keep the house. We'll survive. Well, you know, my dad was willing to pay half a million bucks to keep you alive. Maybe he could uh, just... I am not taking money from your dad. No way. Well, it's not like he needs it. I need him to respect me. I don't want us to end up like Star and Cole. Did Eli make you do this? Oh, God, do you hate me? Oh, you must hate me. I mean, you got locked up because of me? Because I made you attack Todd? I told you that Star was cheating on you and I tried to get you to sleep with me. Anna, I don't hate you, I just... <gasps> You need help. And here I am. Locked up at St. Anne's. <laughs> but you're safe. You can go home and live happily ever after with Star and Hope. Because of me. I don't care what you think. Oh, now you're hurting my feelings. You got any ketchup for these fries? The point is, is that it's just none of your business. Got it. Salt. Look, I'm not trying to pry, but it just kind of seems like everything's, I don't know, too good to be true. I mean, you're on the run, Cole's in jail, and suddenly everything's all hunky-dory. Okay, so it's not perfect. We had a little argument last night. It wasn't, it wasn't even an argument. We were just venting. Well? You. Hannah convinced him that you and I slept together. Oh, that's a bit of a stretch. A bit? It's not even close. Did you tell him we kissed? My mom and I have been up against it before. Somehow, we get by. Well, doesn't your dad have to pay child support? <laughs> what dad? Never even met him. I think he ditched my mom when she was pregnant. She never talks about him. Excuse me, do you know where I can find room? What the hell are you doing here? We didn't kiss. I mean, you kissed me, but it was only so that that goon wouldn't see us. Right. It was nothing. We were just trying to hide. It didn't mean anything. It meant something to me. You got any mustard? I've tried to turn a blind eye. But I, I can't do it anymore. You know, he's, he's always over there. He's always with Dorian. And the other night, in bed, I heard him say, Dorian. <gasps> that dirty dog. I know, I know. And, and I know how this must be upsetting you. Because I know you always hoped that Dorian would come back to you. It's my own fault. I never took David seriously. How could you?
David doesn't take himself seriously. I know, but there's a limit. Come on, how many times can you walk in on the guy in his skivvies? Or worse yet, that bathing suit. Hmm. The less David wears, the better he looks. Well, yes, he is a vigorous young man, but he's full of vitality. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Vicky can deny it as much as she wants, but, uh, hey, I caught her checking him out. Oh, dear. <laughs> now, I know that you thought David would always be carrying a torch for you. I gave up on Dorian months ago. I just, I just, I just don't like seeing you hurt. <laughs> I doused that torch long ago myself. And may I tell you something? I think the way that Vicky is treating you is absolutely unconscionable, and I hope that you now recognize her for the controlling, judgmental prig that she has always been. Yes, I, I am hurt. And I'm angry. I'm so angry. I'm, I'm just tired of people thinking that I'm some sort of a prig. Oh, God, David. I enjoy your splendid body as much as any woman. And I am sick and tired of, of trying to resist you while Charlie is throwing himself at Dorian. <gasps> that having been said, what is it that we're discussing here, Charlie? Fighting fire with fire? Hmm? You, know, you don't want me like this, Dorian. Just turning to you just because David and Vicky are rolling in the hay. I wish I knew what Evangeline wanted. We never talked about anything like that. Did she ever say anything to you? No, 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 but who talks about stuff like that? My sister. That's exactly the sort of thing she thought about. Maybe if she drew, drew up some documents like a living will or something, we would know what to do. And we'd have to honor it. And my mother would have to, too. Are you talking about killing your sister again? OK, let's say Hannah's faking this thing and that she's innocent. And she's covering for something. Yeah. And I'm sorry. I was just hoping you could explain yourself. I did. Okay, love, you, you don't owe me anything. Just... Just get better. Hey, I'd like to talk to you. Yeah, I was just leaving. I'll give you a minute. So, are you going to come back, or is this goodbye? Goodbye, Hannah. Wait, wait, um, okay, I know, I know that this, this isn't making sense right now, but everything that I did, I did it for you. Thing. Liar! It was great and you know it. Don't make this into something that it just wasn't. I'm just stating the facts. Look, being on the run with you was one of the highlights of my life. Seriously. I mean, I can't imagine anyone else I'd rather be hiding out with. It was fun. It was exciting. And it was hot. Bobby. Oh my god. Mm. How are you? Are you okay? So I heard that you were in the hospital and I really wanted to see you. Why? But I'm your mother. So you don't even know who your dad is? Nope. 
My mom won't talk about him, so I stopped asking. And I thought I had it bad. Well, with two dads, you must hate it when I complain about that. No, I'm used to it. I mean, it's always been me and my mom. And you can't miss what you've never known. You may have given birth to me, but you lost the right to call yourself my mother when you walked out on us. Bobby. I told you when you came into my office, I don't want to see you. I, I don't want your phone number. I don't want any part of you. But I moved here to be close to you. You have to give me I a chance. I have to? I'm a grown man now. I don't, I don't need you anymore. We both missed out on a yeah, lot. Yeah, but I didn't have a choice in the matter. Neither did I. So you left us to, to deal with that man all by ourselves? You know what? You're right not to visit me here. And you're not going to see James either. James? James is here in the hospital? Why? What happened to him? He got shot. Oh, my God. He's okay, but he stole 50 grand from Dad. And Dad, being the sweetheart that he is, sent one of his thugs to beat it out of him. James would have given it back, but some stupid high school kid found it first and took it. You think that us being on the run was hot? Me being away from Cole and Hope for all that time that it was fun for me? We were almost killed. I was almost killed. By you. But never mind. I would take a bullet every day if it meant you were doing the shooting. <laughs> what? I think you've completely lost your mind. It, it must be the meds talking. No, no, no. Star, star. Look, uh, listen, I'm trying... What I'm trying to say is... Almost dying really made things clear to me. I can't let you go, even if it means being on the run for the rest of our lives. James, I'm with Cole. You've said that. Yeah, and I'm sorry if I did anything to lead you on, because I, I didn't mean to. Cole and I might have our issues, but we're together. We have a daughter. I'm not leaving him. So the burger was just a burger? Maybe he, it was a mistake to come here, but I just thought that I was doing something nice for a friend, someone that I could talk to, not someone who would assume that I was willing to throw my life away. Star, before I went to surgery, I heard you say some pretty intense stuff. For a friend. It's because I didn't want you to die. I, I am sorry if I misled you, but I can't promise you anything, James. I, I, I can't promise you anything. There it is. Start every time you look at me. I, I have to go. Uh, goodbye, and and this time I mean it. No, Star, wait. He's my son. If he's hurt, you can know what? Kiss it and make it better. He doesn't even know who you are. He was that little when you left him. I thought he was in Ohio with his father. You are not going to see him. Now get the hell out of here! No, something's not right. That's what Joan said. What do you mean? Well, we were talking about this whole thing with Hannah and how it doesn't add up. But one minute she's insisting she's innocent and the next she's confessing. I know. Well, do you think she was faking? I don't know. I, I can't help feeling sorry for her. And I, I know I shouldn't after what she's done to you and Star and me. And well, it's all right to feel compassion. Just protect yourself. Yeah, I just want to go home and see Star home. Good. Good. Don't let this thing with Hannah get in the way of what's really important. Your girls. Right? I know. Come here. Okay. I don't feel like talking anymore. Well, that's okay. But you know, if you change your mind while you're scared and you're keeping a secret for someone, call me. You don't hate me for what I did? I hate the person who hurt Marty and the baby. I'm sorry, Eli. I really so am sorry. I'm sorry. I am. Oh, please. He's too busy feeling sorry for himself to be happy his brother's alive. Oh, is that right, Manny? Yeah, that's right. That's right. Uh, did you even know Ross had a brother till he showed up? And how old was Danny then? I mean, you didn't even meet her till she was in high school. Is that right? Boo hoo, Ross. 
It's so full of it. You don't give a damn about your brother. about your dad? You know what he might be like? I'm kind of assuming he's a jerk. Because he left your mom? Yeah, my dad's kind of a jerk too. <laughs> but he can also be kind of great. I guess I'm just saying that you never know. Uh, even if my dad's a prince, I wouldn't have any idea how to find him. Well, your mom never told you anything? Like, not even a name or, or where he lives? Nothing. So he could have a whole other family? Maybe. You could have, like, brothers and sisters. Not to tell you, it was really great finding Star and my brothers. You're lucky. Well, maybe when you turn 18, then she'll have to tell you, right? Maybe. All I know is she's not talking now. where the accounting office is. I'd like to pay the medical uh, expenses for one of your patients, James Ford. I'm headed that way. I can take you there, but James is still here with us. Tia won't want to see me. She doesn't even know me. What the hell was that? You yelling at Star? No. I heard you. It wasn't Star. Then who was it? No one you know. Star! Star! Hey. Hey. Uh, how did things go with Hannah? Is she still faking her breakdown? Uh, who knows? Not even the doctors can tell. I was about to grab you and hope some lunch, but I thought you were home with her. Uh, my grandma's with her. I went to visit James. No one is talking about killing anyone. We both love Evangeline, and you know that. Well, nothing says love like avoiding your sister all these months while you're dating her ex-boyfriend. And Except maybe coming home just to tell her that you're marrying him. I know. I was wrong to wait, but we're here now, and we're just trying to do what's right for her. By pulling the plug? We were wondering if there's any way of knowing what she wanted, just in case something like this happened. What Evangeline wanted? What she wants, Layla, is to live. And when she gets better, you're going to be so ashamed of yourself for even thinking this. I know you don't want to think like this, but... When you moved Vanja's things from Landview and brought her home, you must have gone through all her documents. Did she have a living will or something that says what her wishes are? I don't even have anything like that, Layla. Do you? No, but Vanja was a lawyer. She must have drawn up papers like that all the time for her clients. It's possible she prepared one for herself. Maybe Layla and I can go by the house and see if we can find it. Thank you, Sandy. I do appreciate it. Yes, you too. Bye. Hey, I uh, just called a couple colleagues to come in and look in on Hannah and give me another opinion. I'm not going to tell uh, Nora just yet, but I will let you know. Thanks. John, I'm really confused. Hannah confessed to pushing me. But whether she stays here or she's in jail, it really just won't change anything. What do you mean? Our baby's gone.
told the truth, Cole. I did everything for you. So Eli won't hurt you. <laughs> okay, you guys. Enough's enough. This is supposed to be a happy time. <laughs> little champ you're tied, a little champagne. Look, no more fighting. If Blair and I can get along, anybody can get along. <laughs> so, Todd, <laughs> I'm happy for you. Can you be happy for us? Yeah, I can be happy for us three, maybe. <laughs> Eli, I wish the two of you a happy life, and with God's help, a long one. We all wish Taya the best. <laughs> You're sure Charlie's with Dorian? Are you kidding? Didn't you see the way he leapt at the chance to go to her house to work? They're not working! Keep in mind that Vicky invited David to move in with the two of you. Yeah, and she can have him now. Charlie isn't mine anymore. He's Dorian's now. So that means... That means that I'm all yours. Maybe we should... There's nothing stopping us. <laughs>